Um, judges, I demand you to give scores for the startups that you saw, um, including Mabel. Um, and I would like to invite the next one. Last but not least is Imovo team. Today, Akiv and Boris, the two founders, are going to present the startup together, but this is not the first time that they are working side by side. They know each other for 10 years, they worked twice together in big corporations, and now they are skyrocketing their own startup, and bo both are full time in it. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, I have never witnessed a startup that made such a significant progress and implemented new technologies during the program, like Imova team did. So, when I, and also uh, something more personal, when I first met Akiv, uh, who is one of the founders, I confused him with another applicant that we had from India. But that applicant they didn't join us eventually, but I couldn't be more happier with Akib's participation. Thank you. Imagine, imagine a better world, a better world where small and medium businesses are able to compete with the largest organizations on earth and win. There are many reasons why this is challenging. One of them is transportation. Today, transportation accounts for up to 40% of the selling price of products around the world. Carriers that are the truck owners, on the other hand, complain of inefficiencies in the way they work today. 20% of the time, the truck is traveling empty with nothing in it. 85% of the time, the truck is parked in its parking lot making zero revenue. What a waste. This is what we fix. Hi, I'm Akiv. I'm this Boris. My, and this is my co-founder, Boris. And we are, the, uh, we are Imovo, a cargo space sharing, booking, and optimization platform that helps small and medium shippers to save up to 40% on the transportation cost. In essence, we are similar to Airbnb. The way Airbnb says, hey, you have an apartment with an extra room, make money. We say you have a truck that's going from Tel Aviv to Beersheba with 30% space available, make money. Imovo has fundamentally changed the pricing model of transportation. Today, instead of paying for the whole truck, Imovo shippers just choose the cargo space area that they need, and this is what they pay for. Our price prediction algorithms learn the pricing around the, around the country for the same type of truck and transportation needs, and is able to save up to two hours of negotiation time for every transaction. The magic behind is the architecture, Boris. Okay. We already have uh, two apps in Google Play. On the server side, we have Microsoft Architecture, working in the cloud, integrated with Google Maps and uh, Payment Gateways. Next month, we start collecting big data. As we imagine transportation. In 2021, we see Imovo as a move anything, anywhere application. Imagine Shazam for transport. Imagine one button that does it all. Just tell Imovo what, when, and where, and we do the rest. The magic behind is, is actually the team, a team of commandos, six full-time employees working on the project for the, for the past seven months, and have built it rather quickly. I'm Akif Solomon, I'm an, an electronics engineer. Over the past 15 years, I'm a developer and big data developer, working for global companies as well as start and start. A market size of $240 billion is ready for disruption because of the inefficiencies that they have today and the penetration of mobile phones and internet into every pocket. 
Our business model is 10% service fee on transactions. Transactions come in two flavors, the cargo space booking transactions and the added value services. Big markets have big competitors, but most of our competitors are focused on the US and Western European markets and they do not provide the same value like Imovo does. So what have we done so far? We started in January 2019. We were accepted to the Accelerator program at The Hive, later to Google Startup Campus. We recruited our team and built partnerships with the largest organizations in Zambia. Today, we have started our pilot program in Zambia, Africa. We would be operational next month with our first revenues coming in, and we would be starting our first pilot in EU, in Croatia, in January 2020. For financials, we are looking for a seed round of $950,000 that will help us reach our first 25,000 bookings within the first year. Join us on our journey to become a Move Anything, Anywhere app. Thank you. How did the two of you meet? Uh, we actually uh, worked together at a company called Extend that was in 2009, right, Boris? 2009, I believe. Uh, we worked over there together for two years, and then later we worked together again in 2012 in RSA. Uh, that's a daughter company of EMC. And we've been friends, uh, family friends, ever since. As, as a matter of fact, uh, I've waited for Boris for three years to join this idea. <laughs> so it was worth the, worth the wait. Can, can you talk a little bit about your competitive edge the, versus the alternatives beyond just the geographical focus? Definitely. So Imovo today provides three main, main values. Number one is what we give access to everybody. So what we've done is we started with Android and we started with Android first design. So we basically built our Android applications before we built our web application, which is very different with the competitors. Now, we have built the system in such a way that it's 2G compatible. WhatsApp today in Israel does not work with 2G, but we do. We also automate everything, so our price prediction algorithms has changed the way the price is calculated. Uh, obviously, we, for example, we are the only country in Zambia today that has the license to sell insurance for cargo using a mobile app. This business was not worth for Madison General. Madison General is the biggest insurance company in Zambia, actually in, South Af in Southern Africa. And they have, they have partnered with us, and we being the only company doing that. Um, I, maybe, maybe I can speak a few more words about this. Imagine you are a shipper, and you want to, you're moving cargo from place A to place B. Today, you depend, even in Israel, you depend on the insurance that is purchased by the carrier. We change that. You do not trust the, drive, the carrier anymore. You just click one button and you have the insurance with you. The last but not the least is the optimization algorithms. We, we, would, well, we, are, we don't have it yet, but we are already collecting big data so that we would be able to predict the orders that would come in two weeks in advance so that the carriers know where they need to go because this is a huge piece of land. In addition, our algorithms would be also be able and focused on saving up to 10% on fuel consumption, which and none of these are done by our, our competitors, as far as we know. So first of all, a disclosure. I know Akir uh, from the past. We, we worked in, on the same company. Um, I would like to ask about, um, first of all, why Zambia? And second of all, because I, I I, maybe I missed something, but I'm not, I don't understand why you think that's the, where you should start from. And the second one, I wrote myself uh, about the vehicles. You presented trucks, but urban versus uh, suburban, uh, international delivery. I know you have big plans, but what, how you defer, how you treat each of these verticals? Right. So let me start with the first question and uh, help you with the second one as well. So the first question is why Africa? I, I, I totally get this because it's a very difficult, it's a very strange decision to make. As a matter of fact, I was I found myself in Zambia, Africa, in 2015. 
I used to work for a company called Supercom, which did uh, biometric passports, driving license, border controls for foreign governments. So I found myself in, as, a, as a project delivery manager working with the transportation ministry in Zambia. We, as a matter of fact, today in Zambia, the driving license, the vehicle license, the toll roads are all a part of my system, my, the previous company system. Uh, so that, that, that's the place where I got the opportunity to actually understand how, how big the problem is. And initially I thought that it's, it's a very local African problem, no one really cares about that. But when I came back to Israel, I had a very funny incident where I was trying to buy a table on Yash time, and I realized that the table was 200 shekels, but the transportation was 800. And it was then that I understood in 2017 that the problem is not African, it's not Israeli, it's a global problem. So we decided to start with Africa because the market is huge. We're looking at something around the, 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 the accessible market is something around $17 billion. And this is only for Eastern and Southern Africa. We already have partnerships signed in these countries, so it's relatively easy for us. Plus it's the perfect place to make mistakes. We, don't, we have some competitors, but not really as big as what we, have, what we would have in the US. We know that we are a young company. We would make mistakes. We are already proud to make mistakes and learning from it. Uh, so this is, this is the perfect place to start. And it's just a start for us. The question is, where do we see ourselves in 2022? So we see ourselves entering the European market in 2020 and later on in the US market, which is very untraditional, I, I agree. Uh, for your second question, Shavir, could you remind me? Second question, please. Right, right. So, what, what, so the, the system today is built in such a manner that we are, we, although we are focusing on trucks, but the system is ready for any vehicle to enter our system. The way it works is that you need to give us certain documentations. We register your vehicle, we verify with the authorities or whatever, plus we, we printed these documents in our system so we know exactly what to look for. Um, once you once you register it, you, you could be a motorcycle, like a taxi, for example. You could be a motorcycle carrying carrying uh, up to five kilograms, or you could be a car that's moving from place A to place B, who just happens to be on the road, or it could be a full-fledged thirty-ton truck carrying a forty-foot container, and move anything anywhere up. It's part of the process in the accelerator. Have you met Itzi from Movers Hub? I've heard the name somewhere. <laughs> yes, so we're looking for CTOs, and maybe we can partner. Definitely, we are actually, uh, as a matter of fact, because he is already has market in the, the states. Definitely. Definitely, actually, we have already started the discussion on exactly how we would partner. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are certain values that we can bring to its uh, market as well. Um, if you if you have a minute, maybe I could just give you a quick explanation of how it works. So basically, if you look at the business models around the world. I'm sure Get would have more and more information for me. But from what I've seen, there are three different business models. There's a shipper carrier, carrier carrier, peer to peer. So ETSI today is mainly focused on the carrier to carrier model, and we are over here. But uh, adaptation of our system for ETSI need is a question of six weeks. Okay. Like whether it's uh, one too many, or uh, whether it's the last mile, a Ford is different story, uh, there's lots of uh, question to determine where the business is going other than if it's uh, Uber or not. Definitely, Definitely. So, so coffee tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, so I think this is it. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much.